हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फ्री ऑटोमेशन लर्निंग चैनल एंड माई नेम इज चिराग टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आ बेसिक मेविन कॉन्सेप्ट सो देर आर मैनी की वर्ड्स विच वी यूज मेविन वी नीड टू नो दैट की वर्ड्स एंड बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट हाउ मेविन वर्क बिकॉज इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट आ मेविन प्रोजेक्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम ऑफ द की वर्ड्स विच वी वी we will use in future so first is a pom that's full form is project object model maybe is work on pom as we can see in ant that ant work on build dot xml so maybe works on pom in means pom dot xml basically it uh, reads pom.xml and whatever write on this in pom.xml file it reads all the things and as per our build and as per our configuration which we have set up in pom.xml it will start execution so this is a very powerful comparison to arch and because in this uh, we have defined through plugins we can define different tasks so we will discuss this but you can understand that maybe in reads pom dot xml pom means project object model and one of the most beautiful project in maven that it has a repository so maven has a three types of repository and this is one of the interview question interview will ask you how many types of repository present in maven so maven has three different types of repository first is local repository and second is central repository and third is remote repository so what is a local repository the local repository means that uh, in pom we give some dependency for jar file for external jar file which we use so that jar files download in maven repository so that maven repository is known as a local repository you can see that it download from chirag user chirag dot m2 and this all the local repository you can see that it download all the jar file which i put on dependency under and dependency tag right so these are all our repository local repository another one is a central repository so central repository is available on web some of this repository is handled by a maven guys and in this repository there are some jar files are available but in this there are not many jar files available it is a central repository means uh, some of the jar files are available on this central repository this is the url of the central repository if you click and see this is a central repository and this all the jars are display here right so it's all about the central repository all the things right and third is a remote repository these are remote repositories also available on web and this the repository in which all kind of jar files are available so you can see that this is a ambient repository and this is the page in which we can search i need to search test and g so i search te right text test and g and click on search so you can see the test and g as my display and these are different version of test and g has been come if you need to download jar you can download a jar from here and if you need to write dependency you can download or copy dependency from here so what is a dependency dependency is the feature 
which we write on form and the external jar file which we need to use we put dependency and when we compile R or save R maven or pom.xml then automatically that jar file has been downloaded and saved into my local repository right this all about the repository and third is a build life cycle as I already discussed in my first video maven works on build life cycle in build life cycle is there is a build right and uh, suppose there is a build first we need to compile that build ah, so first we need to validate that build validate means that all that uh, documents all the files are present on that source code which we are going to build so first we validate that build after that we compile that build after that we test that build and uh, we install that build in test means that we need to run our test script right install means that we are going to install that jar file into local repository right and after that install that there would be a deploy phase so in deploy phase means that uh, we have uh, installed that jar file and now we need to deploy that jar file in any server or any repository right so uh, this maven follows build life cycle right and last point about for basic maven concept is plugin as you can see that by using plugin maven can execute the task which we need to execute or run so by using play, uh, plugin there are many different of plugin and each plugin work in different way so we just write plugin the work which we need to do and we write plugin and we copy that plugin uh, in form.xml and when we execute form.xml that plugin also read at that time and we can do what we need to do through maven right so this is one of the important interview question what is the difference of arch and build tool so i already discussed that maven is a project management tool but art is a only a build tool so what does mean it means that uh, this maven handle all the things related with the project and from point of view of uh, development and if we talk about art art only do the task which we provide right and it also gives uh, it is a build tool so it just uh, build our application right so these are the difference between ant and maven both are the apache product and maven work on pom.xml whereas ant work on build.xml in maven we need to give this uh, plugin the task which we need to run and in ant we just set target so this is all the difference between ant and maven and the basic concept of maven hopefully you like this video and if you have any comment you can comment me and thank you very much for watching this video bye bye